Okay, so as you can see, we finally have got a hold of the B2 stealth bomber. Um, which, as you know, I've been harping on about for quite some time. And we finally have a Brett Plays, whose video I'm going to put a link to in the description to help me actually convert this. Because it's absolutely magnificent, finally, that we get to fly it. This is my first ever go with it, actually. So, just sit back and enjoy this one. And have a go at converting it yourself. It just looks phenomenal. I mean, when, when did this come out? Like 1987? You look at it then. To like now, I mean, it looks like it's from the year 5000. Absolutely incredible. I'm probably not going to do a full uh, flight with it today. It just. It's not the fastest. Um, but. Yeah, we're just going to take it for a little spin. See what it can do. It's got a. I think maximum height goes to about 50,000 feet or something ridiculous. Of course, impeccable at avoiding detection. Um. That's what's called the stealth bomber. Incredible stuff. And they uh, saw on TikTok. I mean, I'm not a major TikTok man, but I uh, saw somebody film these coming into one of the RAF bases. So it had flown all the way from the States. And they, I believe, they're parking a couple over over here due to the uh, ongoing situation at the moment. Just look how advanced it is. I mean, some of the technology in this is probably better than some stuff we've got now. I mean, when you think about the big picture, uh, what this thing can do, I mean, you just would not want to be on the receiving end of one of these. I think it probably will try and avoid getting too political on here, but if it was after a certain person, say, I don't know, Russia, who uh, was hiding in his bunker, I'm sure. B2 would have no problem sniffing them out. And again, it does look phenomenal, sounds great too. Yeah, you can see them lying, at the, uh, they came over here for uh, awesome stuff. They stopped making these in like 2000, but it was great, but I thought that they'd actually stopped flying these. I thought these were retired. Um, proves how much I know. But yeah, we see they uh, appear to be back in business. Waiting. I mean, nobody wants to see a war, nobody wants a conflict, etc. But it would be cool to see one of these fly but maybe when it's going back. This is, this is all de-escalated, but who knows? I'm not a fortune teller. Yeah, of course on the subject of the conflict, uh, the Antonov has actually destroyed the A225 I believe it is. Which is an absolute crying shame because uh, a beautiful aircraft. I, mean, I know people are losing their lives, and that's obviously a lot more important. But the Antonov, yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was an incredible machine. However, Ukraine well, said it will be rebuilt, which is a slight silver lining there. With that, so yeah, back to this. Um, I said I will probably do some other uh, videos with this one. I'm hoping for. Open to, if you, um, yeah, like I said, always offer subscriber requests. Just put me in the comments what you want to see, what plane, going where. And uh, nine times out of ten, if it's viable, I will do it. Um, things like paid aircraft that I don't have the, uh, I don't have. If you want to see some, uh, then do something, then you'll probably have to uh, drop us a donation. The PayPal link will be in the description as well. So if it's a freeware aircraft, I've got everything that you've asked for already, then then I'll happily do that. That's not a problem. So I want to I want to be converting the modding ones as well, but the only condition for that is you have to be a subscriber. So if you want to drop us a sub, a like, or a comment, please do that. It's always a massive help. Thank you for your uh, continued support with this. Enjoy and building the channel. Broadcasting to you every now and then, why not? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm back on flight so much because it's um, took a bit of with Gran Turismo's uh, taking up a bit of time. I'll be doing, I'll be going back to that for a bit and trying to sort of juggle the two actually. 
so yeah stay tuned for all of that okay yeah we're heading towards i think phoenix is the airport i just put a like random airport in but obviously we're not going to uh, we're not going to land there today we're just going to take in this amazing plane a yeah um, the the process to convert it actually is quite it's quite long-winded 20 minutes easily following the whole tutorial but as you can see it's worth it I don't have a cockpit with it though um, that's the only thing I mean it doesn't show up when I press the button to go actually inside which for some people that's like a real deal breaker for me absolutely fine I never really go inside with these planes it's more exterior how fast we can get them there general performance rather than what's actually inside of it okay so it's not the fastest it's faster than most uh, but it yeah it's still a, a great thing to look at and my it's just it's just flat it's properly compact it's, it's range like 6,900 miles I think it said uh, on Wikipedia and you think about that is that through the whole way from US over to uh, over to the UK nestled here waiting to be used I mean you kind of hope it doesn't have to be used if it does I mean, you're glad you've got one of these on the side really really great stuff I wonder the ones we've been after. Wow. Uh, I've got fancy, I think it's the B 52. Is B 52? It might be the B 52 as well. We're off, I'm after a few of them, which I will be converting at some point and, uh, and just taking on a few flights. Why not? We'll be getting into some military aircraft stuff. This is just beautiful. Look at that. This is from Flight Sim X as well. Now to the stand. I'll just fly to this hill and then leave it there actually because I'll just fly over this hill. So we can see. Don't want it to go too fast as I say. It's um some of these mods just aren't built for speed. But if you're over speeding them then it's just get it. It will ruin the, <laughs> definitely ruin the, uh, ruin the video and the flight that you're going to take when you start. Get it down a little bit, why not? Yeah, it sounds quite a quite responsive mod actually. Turns quickly when you're going too fast, you lift it up straight away. But like the Vulcan, Vulcan is brilliant. This is uh, this is never to anything. I think I've played on the game. I mean, I would say about how great Concord is, which it is. Um, but I just think in, in terms of uniqueness, I just think this is its own its own level. Like I said, it's, um, I said before, it's not like a Star Wars. You just, it's just hard to believe this this thing actually exists. So I'm just going to clear this mountain. Mountain, yeah, a hill, whatever, why not? I'm going to clear that and then I think just stop there. And I'm glad you had the chance to sort of share this with me and take it in. That it's magnificent there. Not the fastest, as I said. Worth the effort it took to convert it. Especially the scenery, how great would this look? If you're someone who's into taking, uh, taking photos, and then some of the scapes that are around, I mean, this, this is for you.
point we will uh, clear this. Oh, nice one. Oh, actually, yeah, the LA to Texas. I may have to take that on another aircraft, some of it's a uh, little bit quicker. Okay, so we've reached the summit. I think I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe.